the RSBI1 remote control software um, into the IC7610. Right, before we start, install the software on your PC. I'm not going to show you how to do all that, uh, but don't run it. Um, do the updates off the icon web page, um, then move to the radio. Go into menu, set, network. Right, make sure that the network control is on. You might have to do a restart afterwards, but anyway. So, when you restart, you should then get your IP address for uh, the Radio Bean uh, server, so to speak, because uh, that's what we're going to set it up as. Um, I've set mine uh, as a static in my IP router, so obviously, every time it powers on, it uses the same address. Um, that one's optional shut down has to do with the, the control software these must be as per they state um, network name unique name um, internet access line use either i found because we're on a very fast network cable that one's fine and again um, uh, network radio name is ic7610 uh, which you can call it whatever you like the important bit is to set up a user. Now in there is your, I've used my call sign and set a password and set myself as administrator. Uh, this is this is all for just so I can show you setting it up anyway. So, um, let's come out of that. Okay, we'll go back to the PC now. Now when you run the um, remote utility, uh, which is that icon there, um, the first thing that happens is it comes up with this page um, you should be able to leave it as default or if you've set that differently in the radio sorry put the mouse back. if you set that differently you obviously change it um, and then I'll just put register hit OK close it down now just face away just while the uh, boots back up because unfortunately it wants to show you all my Registration details and serial number on the front. Okay, and we come back to this page now. Now, I'll get. I'll don't bother with this. I actually do it slightly differently. So go there. And now I'll we'll click add. And the server address, which was uh, the one that we got off the radio, um, which was. Let me just bear with me. Sorry about this. Uh, that's the one, I'll just copy and paste it, copy it. Okay. Oh. Paste that into there. So it's, I'm trying to do this in one take, but isn't it not very easy to do? Right, the user ID and the password are the ones that you entered into the radio. So I'll put you back on the radio a minute while I enter those back in, so I can cut and paste those in. Um, you just find them. Bear with me one second, please. Um, oh, what have I done with them? Is it just type? Uh, there we go. Now I'll just enter these into the radio. Right into the uh, and the password. Copy that. And then to there. Okay. So let's just copy them again. So I've entered those in. Next. Oh, that hasn't worked. Let me try again. I think their firewalls come up. Try again. Okay, that's actually worked now. Finish that. And there we go, we're showing connected. Okay. Now, click on radio list. Don't connect at this point. Click on it, settings. Leave all the default settings as they are. It seems to work okay. The only thing you need to do is add a virtual COM port. Now, I seem to like 10, so I'm gonna go with 10. Um, click okay to that. And then we can connect. 
so we're now connected okay so now we can run the radio software which is this one which I'll have to face away again because again it wants to show you all my serial number and everything else why I do not know okay so we come to this screen now what we're going to do here is click this icon come over here and choose your radio in this case 7610 it's a local area network and that was the username I used now my com port has come up as 10 which I asked it to be so it's found that information everything else is okay now if I'm going to actually set this to the speakers on the actual radio for now um, obviously if you've got the amp or anything follow that through click OK okay then connect and we should now be connected let's have a quick look so if I move the dial on the radio it's moving as well so 